wherever they go so that might be pretty far out in front for you and you turn your hands out you notice my hands are pretty wide about uh, outer shoulder width apart that's going to help recruit the pectoral major muscles Okay, I lean forward with my chest, fingers grip, 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 and then I slowly slide the blanket back into a plank position, and then slowly pull it forward like I'm doing a jump forward, okay? Now you slide the blanket back by gripping the ground, rounding, you see my upper back is completely full and shoulder blades are apart here. That's just kind of learning how to slide while the upper body is active. So serratus anterior is what protracts the scapula. Now adding a bent elbow makes it hard to keep the serratus anterior engaged. So as soon as we start bending the elbow, what happens is our body starts doing this pulling action where the shoulder blades would normally retract. Now if you watch the, um, the Chaturanga video, you notice that I said the shoulder blades are supposed to retract. They do this pulling action. But what slows the descent is the activation of the opposing muscles called the serratus anterior. So our muscular system is trying to push into protraction while the structural bones and joints are actually moving in this direction. Okay, so it's confusing because those are opposite things. The hands go to the ground. Now adding on, we try to bend the elbows. So lean and look forward and micro bend the elbows to start, then slide the legs back and you're right in that chaturanga position. Then straighten the arms and rise and bring it forward. Okay, so maybe just watch one time. You're gonna see that what I do first is I bend the elbows, bend my knees, lean forward. Then I slide back and I'm right in that chaturanga position. Elbows are in, hands are dialing out, shoulder blades are pushing, okay, and then release. The other thing you're gonna notice that when I'm doing this um, is that I don't bend the elbow 90 degrees. So on my jump backs, I never go low. And I'm gonna show you a full jump back without this because when you go too low, you lose power and strength. When you stay upward, when you stay upright, you see how it's not, it's just a micro, it's not down here. This would be um, a loss of power. Be, not to say that's bad, that's excellent, but it's way more advanced, okay, to, to really bend and go low and still maintain contraction of the mus musculature that slows you down, okay? So my suggestion is, and this will prepare you for most arm balances, is that you just have a micro bend in the elbow, very small bend in the elbow when you land in chaturanga, just enough to kind of absorb as your body weight's going back to absorb a little bit of the weight forward. 